Welcome back to the second episode of our startup series. If you are new here, my name is Emilia and we are building Enrichi, a platform that connects creators and influencers with brands and agencies. I worked on the design of the art forms. I'm doing one week in, one week out because of my other commitments. And today I'm going to walk you guys through the process of designing the art forms for Enrichi. This platform is for three main user groups, creators, the brands, and the agency. When a user lands on the main landing page, they first select whether they are a creator, a brand, or agency. Depending on their choice, they will be directed to the corresponding login or sign-up form. For the brands and agencies, I want the sign-up form to be the same. The only difference between them is agency account has more features like collaboration and client management features. Apart from that, the brand and agency accounts are basically the same. I took my time to thoroughly analyze the sign-up processes and user flows of various websites to understand what works best in creating a seamless and intuitive experience. From these findings, I've Identify the key pages that I'm planning to design for Enrichi. So these are the form pages and pop-ups I'm going to design for Enrichi in this video. Some people have asked me where I get design inspirations. My go-to platform is Dribble. You can find anything there. I use Pinterest to search for designs and then from Pinterest, I will view the designs on Dribble. For the sign-up form or registration form, I want to keep it simple, clean and user-friendly. We are going with a modern minimalist design that reflects the brand aesthetics. I love this particular design. The idea is to place the images or videos of enriched creators on the right and the form on the left. I also came across this website and I love how clean and modern it looks. So this is where I got my inspiration for building the creator sign up and sign in form. These are some of the designs I came up with. So which one do you like best? So after everything, this is the design I finally picked. For the brand and agency forms, I want to add testimonials or highlight features or benefits of using the platform. These are some of the designs that I like. I didn't create any variation for the brand or agency forms because these designs took me days to craft. I kept making changes and changes and wasted a lot of time. So this is the final design. The animation is not smooth. I know this is not how it's going to look when we build it. The 
other forms remaining are the reset password, forgot password, verify email and invalid link pages. I want these forms or pages to have one particular design. So I came up with three more designs. This is the first one. The image is just a placeholder. I'm thinking branded images. I love this design because it is it is clean and aesthetically pleasing at the same time. I don't know if you like it, but I love it. I also like this design, but the color is a bit too much for me. I don't know if you feel the same. It's just too bright. I also love this design. I love how clean it looks. Honestly, I love all these designs, but at the end of the day, I'm going I'm only going to pick one. So this is the design I finally picked. It's time for us to see it in action. When the user signs up, they will meet the email verification page. They can request another link if they want. That is if they did not get the link. Let's assume that the user clicked on the verification link this is the verification successful page. What if the link has expired? Then they will meet the um, invalid link page. This is the invalid link page. Also request another link and the flow continues. When they finally click on the continue button, they will meet the onboarding page. This is the sign-in page. Let's assume the user has forgotten their password and reset it. We have come to the conclusion of this flow or prototype i don't know which one to call it i'm not a professional ui ux designer but i'm just trying my best for the mobile version i'm still refining the designs I don't know if I should leave the animations and images or completely remove them. And that's it for today's episode. Designing these art forms was a great exercise in balancing aesthetics, functionality, and user experience. I'm really excited about how they turned out and can't wait to start building them. In the next episode, I'll be tackling the onboarding design, so stay tuned and thanks for following along on this startup adventure. By the way, if you have any suggestions or questions, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts.